Hi guys, so today I am doing a highly requested video. I get so many questions about all the different products that I use. So I am doing a favorites video of some of my favorite products at the moment. And I'm just gonna get straight into it. So if you guys wanna see some of my favorite products and why I love them so much, keep watching. I get this question a lot about what mask do I use or what do I use to keep my hair, hair healthy? So let me start off by saying my hair is not healthy as I wish it was. I color my hair. Everyone who colors their hair knows the struggle. What comes with going blonde is damage. No matter what, it is going to damage your hair. But the best thing you can do is try to not make it worse and try to just give your hair the best treatment possible. Really putting the time to do masks and condition and all that. So my hair is very dehydrated. I definitely recommend for you guys all to use masks. It just brings hydration back into the hair. It just helps it make it more soft and not so dry and brittle. And I like to use a lot of different masks, but the one that I always come back to is Joyco Color Therapy Luster Lock. So it's this baby right here. It was recommended to me by my colorist, actually. She uses this on all her color clients. And I love this stuff. It makes my hair feel so soft. So I wash my hair once every three or four days. So I use this mask every single time I wash my hair. I shampoo and then I use the mask, let it sit for five minutes while you wash your body, shave, do whatever you gotta do. And as soon as you're done with all that, I like to rinse it out and you'll feel the difference in your hair. This just makes it so soft and it helps bring the shine back into my hair just because my hair gets so dull. So this baby right here is great. I would definitely invest in a mask if you guys do color your hair or if you just want general soft hair. Invest in a mask. This one's great. I will link everything down below so you guys can see where I get this stuff. After I shower, I before I blow dry my hair, I like to spray on a heat protectant and a detangler. So this one is Eva NYC. It's a 10-in-1 primer, so it kind of does both. So I love this stuff. I recently started using it and it is amazing. And it's super affordable. I spray it on. It just makes my hair smooth. I could feel the difference as soon as I spray it on. It's like a film of smoothness. I don't I can't even explain it. So if you have tangly hair or just as a general heat protectant, this does the job. It does two in one. I definitely works as, as a detangler. The heat protectant, I never know if stuff actually works as a heat protectant. It says it does, so I take its word for it. And yeah, this stuff is great. It makes my blowout a lot easier and smoother and it is super affordable so check it out okay i mentioned this one before i'm sure you guys seen it on my story color wow raise the root so for my girls who like volume this one's for you this stuff gives you volume so you spray it on before you blow out you spray it on your roots shake it in there and then go ahead and go in with the blow dryer and round brush if you want that extra volume and this stuff really just gives you that lift that you need up here. I would try to find the clip that I used for when I was blow drying and I used this stuff. It literally surprised me. I was using it and I was blow drying and I looked in the mirror and was like, hold up, <laughs> what is that? It was like a big ass bump. Just because it works so good, I was like, wow, this stuff is legit. So yeah, this stuff is great. You guys can see it for yourselves in this little clip that I'm gonna put in. Holy, oh my God. So now I I blew everything and I have the volume now. Oh my, I'm seriously so obsessed with this product. Color Wow nailed this product. Okay, so after you blow dry and then curl your hair, I like to use a texture spray. So a texture spray could be used before you curl to give it that grit. If you have hair that falls easy, maybe before. In my case, I like to use it after just to give me that texture and messiness that I like. This is the one that is my fave. I know you guys are going to click the link and then you guys are gonna look at me like this. Like really, Cynthia, this is, this is what you're gonna recommend. It's an expensive bottle, I know but this is my fave texture spray. If you guys have ever tried Orbe, please comment below and tell me I'm not crazy. If you wanna invest in a good texture spray, it's amazing, it has the perfect amount of grit, and let, don't even get me started on the smell. 
If I could have one scent to smell for the rest of my life, it will probably be this. I don't think I've ever met one person who didn't like the smell of Orbe. If you are that one person, comment below, I need to know because seriously, every single person that I talk to loves the smell. They killed it on the smell. Aside from that, I love the amount of texture it gives. It's not too sticky. It's just like the perfect amount of texture. But if I'm being honest, I, I use multiple texture sprays. And as far as texture sprays, a lot of them are pretty good and get the job done. But if we're talking about favorites, this is probably one of my faves. This one I think is always going to be up there. Next one, after I curl, you guys always probably see me use these babies. So these are called no crease clips. They are little clips and they don't leave creases in the hair. Um, so these I love for many, many different reasons. I use, I feel like everyone should have these. One, when you're doing your makeup, they get the hair out of the face, so I love them for that, and they don't leave creases. Two, when you blow dry and you get frizzies everywhere like I do, I love using these to, as when I blow dry and I get frizzies, I like to tame my frizzies by just going like that and trying to tame them down using these. Also, aside from that, you guys see on my tutorials, that I do all the time is sh use them to shape my hair so I like the swoop in my bangs so I always use this to kind of guide my hair to how I want it to sit a lot of times when I do my hair it's not it's not laying the way I want it to lay and this is where these babies come into play because you just if you like this going more forward covering your forehead then you just push it down and kind of have it however you want it to sit I like to spray some hairspray, let it set while I do my makeup, and then when I take it off, it just helps guide the hair however you want it to lay. Also, when I'm doing those big romantic curls, if I like to have the curls kind of go into a certain type of form, then I use this to kind of shape the hair how I want it to lay. These are a must-have for many reasons. Makeup, blow-dry, styling, it just comes in handy all the time for me. Okay, next, after you curl your hair, that's where these babies come into play. This is a detangling brush. So this is called the wet brush and it is super affordable. I think it's drugstore as well. I love and swear by this brush. It is the only thing that detangles my hair without pulling on my hair and hurting me whenever I comb out my hair. These bristles are really flexible so they kind of bend with your hair instead of trying to pull it. And I also love when I curl my hair that I could use this as well and it won't take out the curl because of how flexible the bristles are. So I also use this if I want more of a brushed out wave. But after I do waves, I like to use a white tooth comb because it has separation in the legs or whatever these are called. So it doesn't pull out the curl, but it kind of just opens up the curl so it's not so tight and it just gives that PC look. So I really love this for my waves and this one I love for detangling and also for when I curl my hair or wave sometimes, depending on the look I'm going for. But these two are great. They're, you could buy them anywhere, any drugstore. When it comes to shine, so I love a shine cream. So this one's the Chaser from Dry Bar. I'll show you guys. So I put it on and I just like to put it on my ends and it just brings the shine back and I like to seal the ends a little bit with that shine cream but yeah love this stuff last but not least it is my whey products I love whey my girl Jen she doesn't even know who I am but my girl Jen kills it with these products and this super dry shampoo which I have Posted a tutorial, I raved about this product. It's hard for me to find a dry shampoo that does it all because you want a dry shampoo that's gonna absorb the oils. You want a dry shampoo that's going to give you volume. You want a dry shampoo that's just gonna freshen it up and not make it sticky and feel more dirty after you use it. So this one does just that and more. I'll show you guys. My hair's clean right now, but it's fine. It has a little bit of the white um, thing, but you just have to rub it and it's gonna go away. But as you guys can see, it already adds that like lift to my hair and I only sprayed a little bit. So it adds that lift. So when it's dirty, it's a great refresher. Right now my hair is really clean, so I don't want to spray too much. But when it's dirty, this stuff freshens it up. I like to flip my hair upside down, just get it throughout my whole hair. 
and it's just a good overall refresher so i love the super dry shampoo and this matte pomade which as you guys can see i need more way holla at your girl the the matte pomade very good for sleek looks if you're doing a pony it kind of it's like a pomade so it really lays your hair flat and really just gets all those baby hairs all those flyaways i like to use it for sleek looks and i also like to use it for flyaways that i have so it is thicker but i just get a little bit very little and put it on my fingers and then i like to just kind of go like this over any flyaways that i might have so i definitely use it for flyaways i use it for sleek looks and anything that i'm pulling my hair back this one it, it really creates that sleek look without it looking too oily because i know sometimes if you use gel it will look very oily and this one is matte so it'll give that it'll give a little bit of that shine but it's not going to look dirty or oily it just gives the perfect amount and it, where it looks sleek and snatch but not looking like you need to go take a shower asap whey products and i'm a super fan love it so yeah, so those are my favorite at the moment. I will give you guys updates if I ever get new favorites. I try stuff out all the time and I actually have a lot of other products that I really do love. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have tried any and love it or hate it, let me know. And if you guys have any recommendations to give me as well that you guys want me to try, I love trying products and I would love to get your guys' feedback because I'm always in the market. I always want to learn from you guys as well. So I hope you guys like this video. If you guys have any questions, comment dm me and like and subscribe and i will see you guys next time